Good morning. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, the lack of movement we have. So if we're driving a parking structure, because most of us do drive, and you're looking for a parking space, and there's one available that's closer to you, or one a little bit further away, the majority of us are going to go to the closer one, because we don't want to walk as much. But have you ever thought about, well, maybe I should go to the further away one, because I've been sitting, and I need to give my back a little bit of a rest. None of us think that way. So my claim today is sitting for long periods of time leads to back problems. According to Dr. McCullough, the body is designed for frequent movement. So your body has a way of explaining to you, I don't like what you're doing. So he says that um, the average adult spends nine to 10 hours a day sitting. So that's a long amount of time. So if you're sitting for one hour, he suggests that you get up for 10 minutes, whether it's go get a drink of water, Go get a snack, go to the restroom, whatever it is, get up, get moving, get your spine moving. Um, so, some of you may be thinking, okay, this doesn't even apply to me, I work out, I'm fine. You're not fine because author scientist Katie Bowman wrote the book, Move Your DNA. She says, active sedentary is a new category of people who are fit for one hour but rest, th but are sitting the rest. You cannot offset hours of sitting with one hour of exercise, which is completely true. Those are two polar opposite hours. Um, getting more into the science end of things, Dr. James Levine, co-director of the Mayo Clinic and also an Arizona State professor, said sitting puts pressure on your spine. So basically your vertebrae are all sitting down at the bottom and your hip flexors short, are shortening. So when you get up to walk, you're literally walking like this. You're not getting flexibility in your spine. Your spine is made to contract and to um, expand so you can intake blood and nourishment. 40% of people with back problems, they are sitting at the computer desk and they are students. Um, the fact, uh, uh. And then an example is massage therapist Paul Ingram says use it or lose it, which is very true. Um, he calls his patients chair warriors and they come to him with their chair wounds and um, he says that without stimulus nothing works. Tissue dies without stimulant. And um, my claim again today is that sitting for long periods of time leads to back problems, and I encourage you all to get up and move a little bit more or park in that farther parking spot.